It is uh, my pleasure and honor to introduce Dr. Miranda Lim. Dr. Lim is an associate professor in the Department of Neurology at Oregon Health Science University and research investigator, Sleep Health and Applied Research Program. And she's going to talk to us about how do patients know if they have REM sleep behavior disorder. Go ahead, Dr. Lim. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, as Dr. Avedon mentioned, I'm one of the site investigators for the North American Prodromal Synucleinopathy Consortium for REM Sleep Behavior Disorder, or NAPS. So I'm gonna help you answer the question, how do I know if I have RBD? So some of the signs and symptoms of RBD. So RBD occurs when you act out vivid dreams as you sleep. These dreams are often filled with action. They may even be violent. And the episodes tend to get worse over time. So some of the early episodes may involve only mild activity, but later episodes can be more violent. The details of your dreams match the unusual behavior of an RBD episode. And these actions may include things like physical movements, punching, kicking, jumping out of bed, or arm flailing in response to violent or action-filled dreams. For example, you may be dreaming that you're defending yourself from an attack or you're being chased. You may make noises like laughing, talking, even profanity or emotional outbursts or shouting. An RBD episode often disrupts the sleep of your bed partner. And this is sometimes how a person with RBD may even become first aware of the problem. RBD is a medical problem. It's not a psychiatric disorder. People with RBD do not normally have a mental problem. RBD is often ignored for years. And at some point it is likely to result in an injury. Either the person dreaming or the bed partner may be hurt. RBD episodes occur during what we call rapid eye movement or REM sleep. So normal sleep shown here on this hypnogram, which represents a single night of sleep uh, by a, a subject, it normally consists of a series of REM dream episodes that's shown here in the black bars. And these REM dream episodes occur about every one and a half to two hours each night. An RBD episode tends to first appear at least an hour and a half after falling asleep. And the episodes may continue to occur until waking up in the morning. You may have as many as four times a night or RBD may occur as rarely as just once a week or even once a month. RBD does not normally appear during a nap. RBD can be confused sometimes with sleepwalking and sleep terrors. In these other disorders, you're usually confused upon waking up. You do not become rapidly alert. And in contrast, a person with RBD is normally very easy to wake up, especially when they're acting out a dream. And once awake, they should be able to clearly recall details of the vivid dream. So people with RBD rarely sleepwalk, they rarely have their eyes open and they rarely leave the room. These are all common symptoms and signs of sleepwalking. RBD episodes typically do not involve eating or drinking and they also do not involve sexual activity or going to the bathroom. So how do I know if I have RBD? Well, if you show any of the typical signs and symptoms that I just described, or if you show abnormal muscle activity, what we call REM sleep without atonia on a sleep study. And this sleep study should be done all night overnight in a sleep lab that's attended by a sleep technician in person. There should be video recording to confirm the movements and you should also have wires on both your arms and legs to detect any movement. So again, thank you for listening. Again, I'm Miranda Lim as part of the NAPS Consortium and these are the 10 sites across North America where we're enrolling patients with REM sleep behavior disorder. We hope to see you soon, thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Lim. We appreciate your insight, thank you.